Today, the Trump family is facing new legal trouble. New York's attorney general filed a $250 million civil lawsuit accusing former President Donald Trump, three of his children, and members of the Trump Organization of Fraud. Yeah, the suit claims Trump overvalued his real estate assets and inflated his net worth, allegedly cheating lenders with false financial statements. His attorneys call the accusations politically motivated, though. ABC's Jay O'Brien has the latest from D.C. Claiming you have money that you do not have does not amount to the art of the deal. It's the art of the steal. New York Attorney General Letitia James announcing a $250 million civil suit alleging fraud by former President Donald Trump, three of his children, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric, the Trump Organization, and two of its executives, including Alan Weisselberg. In their filing, the attorney general's office laying out decades of examples they say show Trump and his business overvaluing real estate holdings and other assets, allegedly deceiving lenders and insurance brokers with misleading financial statements. She offered examples, including um, former President Trump's own apartment in Trump Tower having been inflated in size, Mar-a-Lago also having been, had its evaluation uh, inflated. James saying Trump was then able to take out loans based, among other things, on his allegedly overblown net worth, something James says average Americans can't do. It is a tale of two justice systems, one for everyday working people and one for the elite. Trump denies any wrongdoing. His attorneys called the suit politically motivated and an abuse of authority. Donald Trump Jr. calling the investigation a witch hunt. The probe began in 2019 after longtime Trump attorney and fixer Michael Cohen testified before Congress about his time working for the former president's businesses. Three years later, the New York attorney general now asking a court for a $250 million judgment and to bar any of the Trumps from running a company in the state of New York. James saying no one, including a former president, is above the law. This is a civil case, but James did say she made criminal referrals to the IRS and federal prosecutors in New York. It's one of a series of investigations swirling around the former president, including a federal probe into those classified documents seized at Mar-a-Lago. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.